Hello again, it's Anna here from Spiritual Being. I am a house healer and a paranormal clearing specialist. And today we're going to be talking about dark energies and your dowsing tools. So what do dowsing tools do? People quite often ask me this. Why are you using a crystal on a chain? Why are you using coat hangers to connect with spiritual beings? Dowsing tools are an extension of your energy. They help you connect to higher vibrational beings and sometimes the lower vibrational beings that through the work that I do. They are a focal point. I find that when I do my body dowsing, I get certain types of information, but I don't get the attention to detail that I get when I use a pendulum because it gives your spiritual supporter a focal point outside your mind. Because in, in human minds, and there's so much stuff going on, all the daily interactions, everything that we carry around, all our emotional baggage, just everything. There's too much in there for them to get the messages through clearly. So what they will do is they will use this crystal on a bit of string or a button on a bit of rope, whatever it is you use for your pendulum or your dowsing tools, they use that as a focal point for you to make it easier for communication. So as the higher vibrational beings can do that, the lower vibrational beings get a little bit shifty and they're like, right, we're going to come in and we're going to mess with the way that you're working and they try to disrupt your confirmation signs so it's really good to be aware of that so dark energy beings feed off negative emotional and energetic imprints that we create every single day so depending on where you are using your dowsing tools your dowsing tools may be picking up on the paranormal beings that are present. Now they love to play with people's dowsing tools. Seriously, I use a pendulum every day, sometimes all day if there are lots of beings around or if I've got lots of work on. And I find that I know my confirmation signs with my dowsing tools. So with my pendulum, it is a clockwise circle for yes, and it is a left to right diagonal line for no. So I know that they are my two standard signs. When they change, that's when I know that there is something else manipulating my dowsing tools. Now, higher vibrational beings, such as spirit guides, angels, archangels, they don't need to manipulate your tools to get your attention. They will speak to you through your brow chakra. They will talk to you in your ears. You will get a gut feeling. You will just know that they are giving you information. But the heavier paranormal energies, I'm laughing now because there's the particular type of paranormal energy that will let me know when they are present with my pendulum. So when you tune in to do energy work, as a house healer, I am a paranormal specialist, as I've already said, but they will come to me quite readily because of the way that I work and I help them transition into a place called the healing space, which is within the afterlife waiting room. Now, when I tune into a home or a place or a car or a caravan that has a lot of demonic level beings present, they will spin my pendulum in an anti-clockwise circle and it's just funny now because they won't they don't hang back anymore and wait until I'm ready they will just jump in straight away and start playing with my pendulum so that's who I clear first when I tune in to doing properties so as a house healer I will tune in to the paranormal beings the technopathic energy and also the earth energy lines and any geopathic energy disturbances that need attention but I go to the paranormal beings first because I find that if you remove demonic level beings dark energy beings and then you move down to if there's any spirits roaming around the house or any elementals that are trapped within a home and you help them move on 
then the home seems to relax. Now for other people who are attempting to learn to use a pendulum, it is really important that you understand what your yes and no confirmation signs are, but also the pull on your pendulum and how it swings. Because generally when I'm using mine and I'm getting my yes and no answers, it spins really freely and there are no energetic blockages and there's no pull on the pendulum. When the darker or the demonic level beings are attempting to sabotage or use my pendulum in other ways, there's a really heavy pull on it. I almost had it um, stand up sideways one day at a right angle and I'm like, that's interesting. I never got to the bottom of what that energy was, but it was just showing me I'm here. I'm letting you know I'm about. So you have to understand the spin, the pull, and your confirmation signs. And then you will be able to use your pendulum safely. Now, if you do find that you have energetic saboteurs trying to mess with your pendulum and muck up your answers, so you're not getting correct answers, the best way to deal with these saboteurs is to call in the archangels. So you're calling whoever you're comfortable with, whichever higher vibrational being or belief that you work with i just i work with the archangels all the time so that is my go-to point that is my reference point is that i will call in archangel michael to please come now and remove any energetic beings who are attempting to block my pendulum work so you work out a saying or a little prayer that you can say so that when you call on the archangels, they know exactly what you need. Because what you say is what you are going to get. So when you tune in, you tune into that high vibrational energy and they come in and they clear the energy being from the area. Have a go at using a pendulum again. So the other thing is, is to always ask them to clear any energetic residue off your pendulum. Because paranormal beings leave energetic residue everywhere they go. They're just like droplets of energetic gunk that just drops off them. I know it's probably a horrible thing to think about, but they do. Whether it's in our personal energy fields when I do a clearing for someone, or it's within a home, or working with a pet, or working with a car, caravan, doesn't matter where it is. I always ask that any energetic residue from the paranormal beings is removed because it's just like they leave their rubbish behind. Well, sometimes they get a bit naughty because they know they're going to be moved on by the archangels. So therefore, they'll just implant some little bit of energetic residue that is still going to make your pendulum work difficult. So some of the physical changes that you may notice when you're using a pendulum and there's an energy being around is that you may feel suddenly lower in your energy. You may feel tired. You may feel really, really sleepy. You can start developing emotions such as anger or anxiety, things that you don't normally feel. Before you picked up your pendulum, wasn't there so you know that as soon as you picked it up and you've started working with it that, that there is something else around you because just as much as they can affect the pendulum that you are using they can also affect your physicality because we are energy we are energy beings in this physical body so this physical body as much as your energy can react to dark energy beings being present. So you're going to feel uncomfortable. You might notice that the temperature changes around you. This is one of the things that happens quite a lot, is that your room's really warm and that's just, you know, you've got a really hot day outside and it feels great and all of a sudden it gets really cold, like a sudden burst of cold energy. Or it may feel prickly, or you may feel like there's a little bit of energy, a little bit of electricity in the air. Because I get zapped quite often by these energy beings. They're a little bit naughty sometimes and they give you electric shocks. 
So being aware of some of these changes that can happen when you're using your pendulum can alert you to the presence of dark energy beings. Then you call in your Archangel Presence or your spiritual support network, whichever belief you have, and you ask them, please come now and clear any energetic disturbances or residue from my pendulum, from my dowsing rods. Okay, and just trust and believe that it's been done. So I hope you found some interesting information today that you can use the next time that you're dowsing. Be aware of your confirmation signs, be aware of the swing and the pull that is on your pendulum. And then when something else steps in and attempts to use it, you will know what's going on. Okay, thank you for joining me and I'll see you again soon.